Oh my gosh, guys, it's so hard recording with this blindfold challenge. And you know what? If something happens to me, it would be a shame, right? So, guys, before something does happen to me, I would like you to go to my previous video so that you can remember me by it. Here are my previous videos right here. Or somewhere right here. I, I don't know where the camera is, guys, so... If you're watching this, please subscribe. Also, click that like and gong that bell. Gong! Whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey guys, what's happening? My name is Nold and welcome to Freedom Central. Have you ever guys tried out the blindfold challenge? It's so hard. On today's news, guys, we may probably say goodbye to one of YouTube's most prominent gaming channels out there as they try to hide their content. Do you know who it is, Freedom Family? Comment down below. A Russian wartime comedy film-esque kind of video has been reinstated after being taken down for a few hours on YouTube. Have you ever watched this video, guys? Let me know. Lastly, guys, I'm trying to assimilate myself with this kind of hype, with this bird box challenge, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you, it's pretty hard to record with this blindfold on. I can't see anything. Unfortunately, guys, YouTube will be banning these kinds of videos as well. Without further ado, guys, Drop it. Machinima, a popular gaming channel, feels like they will be shutting down in the future. If you visit their channel, you'll see that the videos on their playlist are in private. Why do you think that is? Machinima has been one of the longest running channels on YouTube that has 12 million subscribers, which is being managed by full screen under the banner of Otter Media. With this being said, we can shine a light to what has happened. Digital Trend states that Otter Media said that it remains focused on working with the Machinima team to create new content that will distribute on new channels over the coming months. In the meantime, the Machinima network of creator channels continues to showcase the talents of the network. As part of this focus on new content, we have pivoted from distributing content on a handful of legacy operated channels. Will Machinima really shut down or are they trying to reinvent themselves in the future? Let me know below. Next up on the news is a Russian film called Celebration or Praznik. Praznik. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it very, very wrong. The Celebration film was removed from YouTube because of the grounds that it was a form of corruption. Filmmaker Alexei Kravosky was summoned by the Moscow Police Department last January 20 to ask him about his film. The film was widely criticized by Russian officials and state media as offensive to the memory of the victims of the blockade. State television commentator Dmitry Gaselyev compared to the film to Nazi propaganda. Radio Free Europe Radio Liberty tells us that Gravosky's film celebration tells the story of a well-off family's preparation to mark the new year in the blockaded city. The head of the family is a Communist Party biologist who has received special parcels of provisions, with viewers donating more than 3 million rubles to support it. Numerous investigations were made, but Kravosky said to them that the money used for the film was by their own pockets and of course, one of the cinematographer's pocket. Lastly guys, YouTube bans harmful or dangerous pranks and challenge videos. Yikes. The Daily Item reports, The company recently announced a content crackdown and singled out videos that present an apparent risk of death. Videos that cause children to experience emotional distress and videos that make prank victims believe that they're in real danger, like a home invasion or drive-by shooting prank, as those that would be getting the boot. If you have any similar videos and you do not want to incur the wrath of Mighty Mjolnir, YouTube said that users will have two months grace period to review their video and remove anything that violates the new policy. After that, videos deemed dangerous will receive a strike and three strikes will lead to the removal of a channel. It was reported that a 17 year old girl in Utah drove her car blindfolded and unfortunately, yeah guys, she crashed her car. Good thing no one got hurt. That's the news, guys. What do you think are the real reasons why Machinima had to private their videos on their playlist? Have you ever done the Bird Box Challenge? And do you think that your videos with sensitive topics should be monitored by your local government? If you like this episode, don't forget to view our previous episodes where we talk about YouTube and freedom. If you know someone who has made a lot of Bird Box Challenges videos, you might want to share this video to him or her. Before you leave, guys, leave a like, subscribe, and also gong that bell. My name is Nold, guys, bringing you news about freedom and YouTube. Always remember, Freedom News. Goodbye!